Hey what's going on guys and welcome back. So today's video is a little unexpected even on my part but it seems like Power World Killer rhetoric has already made its way to the forefront thanks to some Twitter stuff and we also got an update out of it as well regarding Doki V which is something I previously did not know. So basically this dude on Twitter with a large following shared a 2021 trailer from Doki V that was captioned something along the lines of the next Power World killer, and it got a lot of people talking about this whole killer thing. I am personally someone who absolutely hates the idea of people calling games, quote, killers of other games. We have dealt with the Pokemon killer narrative for at least four years that I've been covering the genre, and this was a major reason why a lot of Pokemon fans were very apprehensive and even aggressive towards the launch of Temtem, since a lot of people were referring to it as a game that would kill Pokemon, which led a lot of Pokemon fans to get defensive and automatically dislike the game because the people they disagree with with regards to the current state of Pokemon were hyping it up. Now, that being said, this isn't something that just exists within monster taming, but when you call a game a killer of another much larger game, you do not help that game even if your intentions are pure. Calling any upcoming monster taming game a Pokemon or I guess now Power World killer will do nothing more than cause those respective fan bases to retaliate against these games because unfortunately, in 2024, we can't have rational discussions with each other. Instead, we all have to pick a camp and fight instead of just being a reasonable bunch of people and either enjoy playing both games, neither, or one of them. Anyways, I had actually reposted or retweeted or whatever it's called now, express this opinion, and then subsequently the Power World community manager, Bucky, also basically echoed my sentiment, saying that this narrative was foolish and that pretty much is as far as it went with regards to Twitter. Now, I wanted to talk about this specifically because A, I wanted to dispel this idea that calling something a killer helps anyone and sort of discourage people from labeling games this way, but also B, because it has to do with Doki V, and ever since the initial tweet, tons of people have actually been posting Doki V, calling it the next Pal World or Pokemon competitor, which is definitely a lot more tame than Killer, but I think a lot of people don't actually understand the current state of Doki V at all. So for context, and I'll leave a couple of videos linked below, one of them is what happened to Doki V, which I definitely think you guys should check out. But basically in 2019, I believe Doki V started out as an MMO, then was rebranded to an action adventure title and sort of came back in 2021, seemingly with many unannounced changes that would also come to the game. This, however, is pretty much the last we've heard of the game and it's been silence for the last three years. The original poster of the Doki V Killer tweet actually found information via a tweet from an ex Pearl Abyss employee that essentially states that the game's likely coming out in 2026 or 2027 since they're more focused on their next title, so I wouldn't expect this game to come out anytime soon. Furthermore, they actually unlisted some of their Doki V trailers, so that's also a bad sign. Again, I have a video talking about that as well. It is possible that they've switched priorities just because of the success of Power World, but I just gotta say, it's funny to see a lot of people discovering games that we've been talking about here since like, 2020. The same thing kind of happened with Power World. I was pretty much the only channel regularly covering it. And we were kind of like a small Power World community together getting ready for the game. And then the game just exploded. So hopefully we see the same thing happen with Doki V if and when it comes out. Because even if my content gets lost in the shuffle, my biggest hope is that the genre continues to grow and we can easily keep pushing monster taming games forward the more monster taming games that are brought to light. Now, what are your guys' thoughts about this whole situation? What are your thoughts on the whole Power World killer label? And do you have anything to add? regarding Doki V, opinions, or whatever. Also, how do you guys feel about a lot of new voices talking about monster taming games? I feel like it's been a good thing as well as a bad thing, because unfortunately not everybody who's talking about them actually have the interest of the genre in mind, but hopefully we get more genuine voices as time moves on, which I definitely think we have been and will. But yeah, thanks so much guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.